Wellness compounds throughout the district are once again shifting into high gear before sunrise. This school year, the district rolled out 110 new GPS-equipped buses. More than 780 buses will transport about 57,000 students every day. Be at bus stop 10 minutes early. Make sure your student knows uh, their time and their bus route number. Also, if you have any questions, call our customer service center. Superintendent Wayne Gent started the new school year amid all of the activity at the district's North Transportation Facility in Riviera Beach. Each school year is you know, a new day, a new beginning, and uh, we're excited uh, for the students that are coming in, and we want them to do their best. Our teachers are, are ready, our teachers are excited, and uh, we're just looking forward to an outstanding year. Shortly after sunrise, students began arriving at local schools. This was a scene at Gove Elementary in Belle Glade. Going that way. How are you? How are you doing? And here you see students arriving at the newly renamed and remodeled Conservatory School in North Palm Beach. This state-of-the-art campus replaces North Palm Beach Elementary. We are the first K-8 school in Palm Beach County. We have an amazing orchestral music program. The students that stay with us in sixth grade are actually all in orchestra, so all of them are musicians. <laughs> In fact, music filled the atrium as students arrived. Superintendent Gent also joined in on the fun. The conservatory school boasts instrumental music suites, numerous performing arts studios, modern classrooms, hydroponic gardens, and much more. Centennial, could I have your attention, please? Back to school excitement also ran high at Hope Centennial Elementary School. This campus offers a Spanish dual language program and an extended school day, which affords students extra time to focus <laughs> on reading strategies. I get the same teacher. You got the same teacher? How do you know that? Because Yeah, how's that apple? <laughs> About 181,000 students attend the district's public schools, and for them and district employees, the new school year is off to an exciting start. Claudia Shea reporting for the Education Network, keeping you informed.